One of America's greatest political sociologists, Charles Wright Mills, was born August 28, 1916, in Waco, Texas, to Charles Grover Mills and Frances Ursula Wright. Mills graduated from Dallas Technical High School in 1934. Upon graduating high school, Mills attended the University of Texas at Austin, where he did extremely well in philosophy, sociology, cultural anthropology, social psychology, and economics. In 1939, he attended the University of Wisconsin at Madison, where he received his PhD. In 1945, Mill started a job as a research associate at Columbia University's Bureau of Applied Social Research. After a year, he became an assistant professor in the university's sociology department. In addition to being a professor, Mills was the author of four books that defined his sociologic perspective. The New Men of Power, White Collar, The Power Elite, and The Sociological Imagination. Both The New Men of Power and The White Collar shared the same ideas of his theories. Mills believed that America was separated into three different classes and the upper class was in control. The other classes were made to think that their opinions were important but only the upper class was what really mattered. Mills believed America ran on corporations and led by white collar workers. Well, if we're going to go back to Marx, um, his idea, well, what he said was that ultimately there would be a struggle back and forth and back and forth, but that the majority of people, the under, you know, the, the lower class the proletariat, will eventually rise up and will have a revolution and they will seize power from essentially the, you know, the guys who have that power. Mills proceeded to explain his theory on power with his third book titled The Power Elite. Mills said that the upper class was led by military, political, and economic leaders that provide the means to produce wealth. Mills stated that military leaders and politicians recognize themselves as being separate and superior to the rest of society. Again, as far as power elite, uh, class politics is tough, right? If you want to run for office, you are more than entitled to run for office, but you also have to understand there are people in place who can either help you do that or they can hinder you in a lot of ways, right? Uh, you look at what, uh, what are now called super political action committees, super PACs, right? They form themselves and generate millions and millions and millions of dollars and they'll throw that money behind a candidate. And a candidate who has that type of buying power just in strictly, ter strictly in terms of media, advertising, can put his or her name in front of so many more people than you. Mills wrote his final book in 1959. He stepped away from his ideas of power and focused on the comparisons between personal issues and social issues. The sociological imagination gives the person possessing it to see beyond their personality to wider social structures. Throughout his life, Mills had three wives and a child with each wife. Mills suffered a heart attack on March 20, 1962. Mills was 45 when he died. In today's society, Charles Wright Mills and his theories are studied by many sociologists.